The Specify tool allows you to communicate the compliance and performance requirements of your project. Let's go back into the project we created earlier. You'll see here that your SPES library is empty at the moment. And there are a number of ways to specify tools into your library. You can do them individually, in bulk, or while detailing via your CAD software. Let's start off with some stairs. Now, the important thing is to actually set your view because the view you set at the point at which you specify will be what the viewer will also see. Set your view and then there's the little add to project icon here. You have the opportunity to change the title of the specs to make it a little bit more specific. Now you can then pick the project to add this to. You've got the previous project we created or you can at this point create a new project if you want. Let's stick with the same project. While it's optional to add a note, I do encourage you to add a note for every single space. And the reason being it will focus the contractor or the reader on the item and the details that you want them to focus on, ensuring compliance to all stairs. And once you click save, it will be added to your project. So let's say we're wanting to bring the attention of our contractor to the finish of the handrails. Zoom into the handrails section, open up the side panel. And just remember, if you can see it, when they open it, they will also see it. Let's go down a different path. Instead of the save to project, let's generate a spec block. Let's change the title of this one, because just calling it stairs public is not really a great title when we're trying to focus them on the handrail finishes. So let's change the title to handrail finishes. So something like this. So ensure all handrails are brushed. Uh, stainless bus schedules. You can go ahead and save that. And that's now saved to the project. Come back to our beach house and you can now see you've specified two different sections of the same tool. A couple of things to note is the title that we set, um, the date of specification and also our notes. Now if you click it'll take you back to the same view. This view is now set in time or frozen in time. The one that you specified will not change and that's really important so your scope doesn't creep. The last way you can specify tools is via bulk add. And this is if you want to do this retrospectively and you want to do it quickly, you can come to, to the bulk add section. This effectively shows all of the tools available. Now, if you're going to do it this way, you really need to be familiar with the tools that you're going to specify. You can also use the side panel here if you want to filter things. And you can see here I've set 18 tools. And let's go add to project and you see those additional tools have all been added. You can see that the notes have not been added. So for the fire door, for example, I can add a note. That's now added to this particular specified tool. The last way to add tools to your SPES library is via your CAD software, and that will be the topic of another video.